Well, when the water gets shallow enough, my 115 horsepower Suzuki identifies as a power pole. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and we are in some extremely shallow water. Um, I'm not joking when I said I'm using the 115 Suzuki as a power pole. That's what's holding us right now. We are, uh, we're fishing for whatever hits today, quite honestly. A um, little bit of a bass, dogfish, pike mission and uh, just throwing topwaters, swim jigs, whatever. It is going to be super hot today. Uh, it's definitely not too hot to fish for muskies, but uh, just had a couple hours in the morning. Didn't want to do a full-blown musky mission, so Jamie and I are just out throwing little topwaters and that sort of thing to see what we can catch. So let's see what we can catch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, come on. What is that, Jay? I think it was a doggy. Pretty big if it was. <laughs> Dude. Jesus, you got the heart going. <laughs> <laughs> I try to bring it in front of the camera. I don't know if that's going to show up in any way. Man, that was one hell of a wake, man. Oh, oh, come on, I just missed mine. Mine was significantly smaller. I couldn't even make out anything uh, even right next to the boat. The way it turned around so fast, I'm pretty sure it was a doggy. That was a hell of a wake, Jay. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm only though. Exciting wake. It won't be as exciting after I There we go. There we go. What do you got here? Get the frame up. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big largey man. Yeah, it is. Come here, bucko. Let's see here. Stout. Yeah. No, he's a little tanker though. <laughs> All right, first fish of the day. Nice, what, like 17, 17 inch fish? Refresh me quick on your camera here. I have oh. some difference since I've used it. I have to run this thing. Yeah. Just stop this real quick. I remember that whole day was kind of whole hum day and we just couldn't get nothing going and we were bumping in the decent pike and couldn't get muskies even. Yeah. We had that one, foot, the one follow off the Island in Stanton. Yep. In Stanton Bay, but it, like the whole day we just weren't moving nothing, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, those fish just turned on. That that should like, cause I think I lost one or had one hit and lost it. Oh, look at this! Look at this, Jay! Look at that! Oh, he eat it! Got him! Oh, he came off. They are so hard to hook, man. Yeah, I'm assuming that was a dog. It was a dog. Yeah, that was a doggy. They you can, like really big. oh yeah, you can tell because they kind of thump, thump, just kind of the way they hit at it. Third time, he finally hit it. Just, oh, doggies. <laughs> Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was uh, bigger than the other one, man. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> Thought maybe it was a dogfish for a second. That was pretty cool. Sucking some nice ones. Right, yeah. I mean, my dad got a 48 and a half and a 53 on that trip. Right, yeah. And I got the 49, so we had quality fish. Right, yeah. I had my last trip in Canada. Oh, here I got a wake. Here I got a wake. Back up to 69 degree water. I haven't really been watching my 
water, but it's getting warmer. Oh. Yep. Man, I just, they're so hard to hook. Freaking thing. Yep. Yep. Get one more hit right here. I'm gonna... Oh. Feast or famine? Yeah, man, that's a that's a freaking good one. Largy. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Take those all Fuego J. Yeah, man, she's sticking them down. <laughs> man, they're mean. Same size, but they're nice fish. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. A bunch of 17, 18 inchers. Probably. First the elbow grabbing them a little bit. Let's see what what do we got here for for size. Right, 17 and a half, give or take. Nice. <laughs> He's on fire, folks. Another largey. <laughs> On the outside, yeah, they're just coming up and whacking it. <laughs> I got bull hooks in too. Wow. A sturdy little fish. Need uh, pliers at all? or? Yeah. Got him? He was not going anywhere. Yeah. on a uh, single eight spinner. Yeah, I always wonder why those stupid fish don't have a Yeah. Oh, dude, that's, is that a better one? Come here, get out of the weeds. Oh yeah, man. That's a that's a tanker. Holy cow! Did he eat it? That might be the biggest one so far, Jay. Jeez, he crushed that. Give her a measure. Yeah. Too many hooks. Come on, get out of there. Just got one out. Yeah. 
only want this to get stuck in there. There we go. All right, what are you, buddy? It's 18 and a half, just over 18. So nice largey. That, folks, is the first part of a two-part video that we're going to do with these bass and dogfish that Jamie and I were chasing. Uh, I believe in the second part we're going to get into some doggies, actually, but the wakes that we got from those couple at the beginning of this video are... There's, there's only one other fish I know that will wake on a bait that hard, hunt it down, and then try to eat it, and that's a muskie. So that's why we call these uh, the dogfish mud muskies a lot of times. They're just... They're really cool fish and underrated fish and super fun to target, especially with top waters. I hope everyone out there is having a great fishing season. I love this time of year. I love getting out. Uh, we are going to Northern Wisconsin coming up here. So hopefully that will treat us okay. And other than that, we're just, we're still waiting for that border to open. Uh, as of right now, July 21st is what they're telling us. So we shall see. With that, we're gonna wrap this up and uh, Hey, thanks everybody. We just hit 7,000 subscribers, so very cool. Thank you everyone. I appreciate all the support. I uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's just an awesome thing. So keep watching. I thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next video.